gals. I'm coming to you from a slightly different location today. Um, I am now in France. I'm in Provence. I'm here with L'Occitane and I've just checked in to the most gorgeous place. I, I think I would now like my bedroom to look like this, if I'm honest. Oh my God. This is just mad. So Catherine is here as well. We're going to be vlogging the trip. So you'll see kind of two different aspects. Um, of the trip. I'm sure we're going to have like plenty of the footage of the same things but the main goal of this trip is to meet some of the producers. So we're going to meet the almond producers, we're going to meet the verbena producers as well um, and just learn about one of my all-time favourite brands. Oh my gosh, how is this real life? Sit on my couch. Look at the little basket. <gasps> That's a little basket for from the hotel because there's a pool just down there. Um, let me sit down. Let me get the nice lighting. Oh yeah. Oh, this is nice lighting. Yeah, I'm having one of those pinch me moments where I can't believe this is real life, but I can't wait to create lots of gorgeous content and bring you along with us, you know, because oh, I just think it's gonna be so cool to be able to look at the Lockstown website. We go to the Verbena section and, and go, I met them. Like those are the growers. Those are the growers of the Verbena products that are in the Lockstown products. To be able to see where the almonds are going to come from. Five years ago, Catherine and I, we came to France just on a trip for ourselves and L'Occitane arranged for us to go and visit the factory. It was just so interesting. It was such a good way to spend like a couple of hours here and they have like a lovely shop um, as well. But we found out in the car on the way here that we're going to get to go into the labs, like put on the white coats and everything, you know. Um, I don't know how much we'll be able to film in there, but I'll fill you in on everything, just if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to show in this video the area that we're in. We're in Fort Calquier. So when Catherine and I were here five years ago, we drove through Fort Calquier because this is close to the Lockstown Hotel. They have their own hotel. In there, that year, I got the best facial of my life. Of my life. Like, I compare all other facials to that one. So then the following year, so this was 2019, um, me, Joanne, my sister, my mom, and my mom's friend Geraldine came back to Provence for like to see the lavender fields. I just really wanted to show them because it's just something so magical. Like I feel at home here, like in Provence. Oh, and like you know me and sunflowers. If you don't know, I love sunflowers. They're my favorite flower, and being in a sunflower field is just magic. But anyway, so then last or yes yeah, so that year we had booked mom a facial in that hotel for as a birthday present and then she had booked her friend one as well so we brought them there and on the way back we stopped off in Fort Calquier for lunch and there was a market on and it was gorgeous it was just lovely oh it was just magic just magic so today is Sunday and we're kind of just gonna I think chill around the hotel today and then tomorrow we're going to go into Fort Calquier to the market in the morning. I'm very excited. Which anyway, we're going to go have some food and then we're going to get changed and go to the pool. <laughs> How is this life? This is just bananas. Sorry, I actually meant to show you outside. So this is outside of the boudoir. Hold on. So when you go out those doors, like now, wouldn't these look lovely on my patio at home? Yes, they would. Will I fall trying to sit on them? Yes, I will. Now, we've already noticed that there's gorgeous planting around here. This is like an olive tree there. I think Catherine's room is over there. I just messaged her to say I'm here. But the heat, it's like a little terrace there. Oh, and the pool is just over there. Oh my god. Gas, this is insane. So this is where we're having dinner tonight. It's like the restaurant on the grounds of the hotel. I'm like, look, I'm gonna... All I can do is take pictures of white agapantis. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my dudes are hanging there. <laughs> we're just like, okay, let me just show you some of the plants here. And then actually, hold on. Look at this olive tree. It's perfectly trimmed. That's what we need. And yeah, they got like the white agapanthus. They have this situation got the white roses the blue agapanthus and look at that is that an olive tree it is look at that oh, it's like a bonsai olive tree guess how much it gets the price <laughs> <laughs> oh and here we're gonna sit outside
a nice look. And look, oh, the moon looks very disappointing on camera. It's really bright in person. That's just where we had dinner. It was a delicious. That's Catherine, her, that's the mountain, or the, the moon, no it's not, um, we just had dinner, it was unreal, and we're going back with like a bottle of water, not wine, not wine, <laughs> <laughs> that moon is a whopper, look, it just looks miserable on camera, but hold on, let me show you these little cottages, they're real, aren't they? they adorable, yeah, so we're going to go back to the room and have a good old sleep, and we are home. I say home, this is home. Yes, it's my dress is on the bed. I think I will properly unpack in the morning. Like, look how red my eyes are. Um, Because last night, it was up about six this morning and it's not even like 10 o'clock here at night. But I didn't sleep great last night because I think I was so afraid that I was going to sleep it out. But we just had like the best first day. It was nice and chilled when we got here. So the plan for tomorrow is get up, if we're up early, go to the pool. If not, breakfast, get ready, and then we're gonna go to the market in Fort Calquier. Um, I'm excited, I'd love to get like a little basket or little trinkets or little like lavender pouches. That lighting makes it look like I have a beard there. Oh, I need to take off my makeup and have a good out sleep. But that is day one of the trip to Provence at Lacs Town complete. See you in the morning. This is day. Is it a doll? And she's happy to meet if her it husband. Is it a doll? <laughs> if it a hen? Yeah, yes. What day? So today if is Monday. Doll. Yesterday we arrived in Provence. I'll show you. Did I show you the room here? I'll show, no, I'll show it later. Oh, it's your, gorgeous. Your room has lovely lighting. It, like I'm right They're up against like the window. Like, we, we're calling this. them the houses. It's just because they've double French doors. It's just gorgeous. But yeah. we're going to go to the market now. Catherine's going to go meet her husband. I want a backpack, straw basket. And a husband, French. In in that order. With a little soil pH. <laughs> That's all she wants. But um, we'll bring you along with the, my arm is real sore holding this. But anyway, listen, let's go to the market in Provence. In Fort Calquier? Cal We're in Fort Calquier, yeah. Fort Calquier. <laughs> Okay, everybody, this is pastis. This is Catherine's favorite drink in Provence. It smells like anise. It's very licorice -y. So I think you're supposed but to add you water had into it. A cup, that would clear that coffee that in two seconds. Ha like you hair on your chest. <laughs> yeah, my god. <laughs> well, they, they put water in it. But yeah, watch what happens when she puts water in it. It's like a lemon drink. Like, it's strong, lads. 
it's strong. But it's, when you put the water in it, 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 it just dilutes the strength. The, oh, it still smells. Look, they put the wine in the bags here, which is a great idea. This is the burrata, has that speck, got melon. Looks good. Not like unreal. Oh, merci. Oh, girl, that looks good. Why are you always getting like this? How's that Catherine is going to try Calvados. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, Catherine. I want my, my okay, okay. <laughs> Dang it. You can drink it little by little, not yet. <gasps> oh my god, you are wild. <laughs> 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 yes. I can't do it. She hasn't breathed yet. <laughs> are you okay, dude? I feel like I'm breathing fire. <laughs> That's right. morning in Fort Calque. Oh my god, it's very hot. I'm glad now I wore this linen dress. So I bought this linen dress in Spain back at the end of May with this trip in mind. Now it doesn't quite fit across my bosom so I just have like a sports bra hanging on underneath which is fine but it's nice and cool. It covers the shoulders because we knew it was going to be like super hot but oh my god lads we had like the best morning. I'm going to show you what I got. Yes, I will. Look at my basket. Oh my God. I love this. So got this, I think it was 22 euro. And I love the fact that it has yellow leather, like long straps and then handle strap things, like shorter straps. And then it has this. So a little, you can kind of close your stuff because I'm always afraid of, you know, like really open bags like this without it. I'd be like, what if I was walking along and someone just went, that's what happens when you're living in Dublin, you have to think about those things. But I just love it so much. And it's nice and big. Hold on. Look. Because yesterday, I don't know, did I show this? So, the hotel that we're staying in gives you, just for while you're here, the use of this. It's called Bastide Saint George. And you can put your towel in there and if you want to bring anything else to the pool. And, oops. Yesterday I was like, oh, I love this basket. And then when we were walking along the side streets of the market, oh, there's just like loads of little bag places. And I was like, no, I've, I haven't seen the one that has made me go, ooh. And at one point we sat down to have a drink and just to catch our breaths, to just get in out of the sun a little bit. And we're like under trees, having a beer, happy days. And then that's when I saw this. So like right in my viewpoint, there was a bag that, or a bag, there was a stall that had like lots of different shaped bags. I was like, no, I love this. So I think tomorrow I'm going to bring this with me because I feel, yes, or today I had this bag with me. So I bought this in Spain again last month, or at the end of May. And it's grand because it has a crossover, but it's just, I just couldn't access everything that I needed to. And I had my camera out and I was trying to like grab my phone. So it'll do the job for when I'm at home and I'm not having to kind of keep reaching in to get my purse, my bag, my or my purse, my wallet, my phone. And I love this. I'll put her here. First of all, I got like little bags of um, lavender. They're like 10 for 10. And there's just something magic about the lavender here. So my mom loves these. It's actually one of the things that she requested when I was away. I was like, no, this is the perfect place to get these anyway for mom. So happy. She loves lavender so much. And then got this little wash bag. I just thought it was dinkity. And it has lavender and little olive designs on it too. 
and then at the same stand they have like lots of table socks and stuff I don't know the measurements of the tables that we have at home but I bought these because when in France this way you buy the little uh, tea towels this is that one it says so to say huile d'olive sour de Provence and that's olive oil and then we have this one too that has lavande and the lavender fields Mm. So yeah, just got a couple of other little bits. So right now it's four o'clock and I think I might wait like a little, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. I'll have a little rest and then I will head out to the others in the pool because the pool, it's in the full sun and I think it just might be a bit too hot for me. So last night, I know we were traveling yesterday, but last night after dinner, like even during dinner, I could feel my eyes getting tired. So that's like my first, I don't know, sign when I'm exhausted my eyes get really small and like they were getting really red and so I don't want that to be the case tonight because we have along with Catherine and me there's Vivi who works for Loxtown she is amazing and um, we have another girl Sarah coming with us as well she's arriving tonight along with a lot of UK creators so we're going to meet them all this evening for dinner in the hotel which is great so we don't have to like travel too far and then tomorrow is when we get to work when we go to the fields but I just want to check in because I know this morning we we're trying to like get organized and get ourselves ready so I didn't do like a big massive intro just wanted to check in to be like hello I think I just need loads of water if you're like really thirsty so then have a drink have a little siesta what do they call that in France a nap then get changed and go out to the pool and just have a little splish splash I'll talk to you later a tout l'heure. I'm currently in the Verbena field. This field, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do like a little panning shot, okay? So you can see it all. I'm trying to make you dizzy. Yes, it's hot, but it's gorgeous. This one field is owned by Philip and Magali, who I showed like a little bit of footage of earlier. This one field is where all of the verbena comes from for the Loxtown verbena products. Right now it's the start of July. So when August comes, it's gonna be like up to my waist and then the same in October as well. So they get two harvests every year if everything kind of goes according to plan. But I'm gonna show you something now. These are the verbena plants here and you can see that there are other like kind of little plants beside here. And so the idea behind it is that they're gonna cover all of the ground or most of it to help with managing the soil biodiversity. You can see how dry the soil is as well. And I don't know if you can see, I'll show like kind of close-ups here as well. So they have kind of companion planting here and that helps with the biodiversity of the soil. You can see that the place is yeah, covered like insects and bees, things that I don't even know what they are. There's lots of butterflies as well. So they're all happy here in this little ecosystem. In the middle of Provence. This is mad. <laughs> we are turning. We are changing most of the time and make a mix of different kinds of plants yeah. to, but we are trying also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are trying when the, we will plant it in between the ranks of La Verbena, for example, we will try to plant also plants that won't be competitive mm -hmm. with the Verbena, so won't mm -hmm. grow exactly at the same time, won't use exactly the same elements. Of Verbena? Yeah. yeah. That's the only one. Really? Oh, wow. yeah. But if you can imagine, they will be like this, this one, yeah. 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 and yeah. with a, a lot of branches, so you, you can go uh, in what, the what field. What time of year do you harvest? And twice. twice. We're now at a lavender field. So this is Philippe Magali's lavender field. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if you could hear the noise of the bees, it's very comforting. This is just so stunning here. So this lavender doesn't go to Loxtown. This is their own lavender field. Um, still smells just as gorgeous. And actually, I'm gonna show you how this lavender looks different to the lavender that you might know. So 
did you know that there is lavender and lavendine? So the lavendine is the lavender like essential oils that they put into cleaning products, whereas lavender goes into like the beauty products. I didn't know that. So I think the lavendine is what you'll see in the lavender fields, like in the pictures and everything. Whereas this is lavender, let me show you. So this lavender has a different shape to the usual one. The usual one that you'll see is like the same width from like top to toe, but this is tapered. My mission is to be able to tell the difference between lavender and lavendine. So I'm at the L'Occitane Hotel. So this is Le Couvon de Minimi. And Catherine and I were here five years ago. And then the four years ago, we bought my mom um, a facial here. And we brought her here then for um, the morning and it was unreal. But they're after redoing it up completely. Like, wait, oh, please wait till I show you this. So this is the hotel now. This used to be, well down here used to be the spa. So they used to have like a pool here. So now this is all, a lovely dining area and then there's a pool for the spa which is going to be opening in October there's Sarah going down the stairs <laughs> and then I don't know if you guys remember over there's a lavender field which is what I painted um because I just oh, I loved it now the last thing I remember is around here on top of that building was the restaurant um I don't know if it's still there now but We'll have a little look, but look. Gals, we've just had the most gorgeous meal at the Loxtown Hotel and I'm so full. It's like half ten at night. <laughs> Not used to having such gorgeous, lovely, tasty, rich food. Um, but we just had like the best time like having the chats. We're meeting so many lovely UK content creators, influencers, and yeah, we're putting our Irish spin on it as well. We're teaching them some of the lingo. Um, but yes, we're gonna go back to the hotel now because we're up extra early tomorrow because today in the for Bina field it was so hot it was absolutely roasting so we're going to go a little bit earlier to the almond field so that it's not as hot because lads I nearly melted on the spot you forget to do kind of intros and outros every day so I'm going to try and do it for the next couple of days anyway love taking you along with us but if you are in the Provence region check out the hotel L'Occitane oh no what's it called Couvent de Minimis I'll leave it linked below and um, it's such a treat absolutely gorgeous and yes in October they're going to open up the spa so Maybe I'll just have to come back for a visit. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Film a little intro. We are Catherine S speaks French, FYI. Yeah. Hello. D'accord means okay. D'accord. Okay. Allez. Fluent. Oh la la. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to the almond fields now. And yeah, you're coming along with us.
I'm currently in the almond field in the middle of Provence and can you hear the amount of insects that are here? There's so much life. So this is an almond tree. I've never seen one before, <laughs> which is pretty cool. But we are a few months off the actual harvest time, but I just wanted to show you what they looked like. So this is one of the almonds here and it has like quite a furry texture. So I think these are harvested in October, I think, October, November. This field is owned by Jean-Pierre Jobert. He and his team harvest all of the almonds here that go into your favorite L'Occitane product from the almond range. Growers here for Verbena and for the almonds have both said that naked soil has no life. And I was like, oh, that's so interesting. So that's why they have like all the plants here between the rows of trees. It helps the soil to retain carbon, helps the soil to re retain moisture as well. It promotes biodiversity. Stop talking for a sec so you can just hear. This is Jean-Pierre's almond farm. And then we have his lavender field. Oh my God. Can you hear the bees? It is alive with bees. This is magic. Gals, <laughs> okay, just so you know, it is a million degrees here. We've got the lavender on one side, we have the almonds on the other, and we've just shot some Christmas content. <laughs> I might have to retouch out the sweat on my head, but this place is just unreal. Like, look. Oh, unreal. Um, but yeah, I think we are going to go get lunch, get a drink of water, I'm so thirsty. But we had such a lovely morning here in the almond fields, filming content, I did some cutaways. <sighs> okay, let's go get some food and a drink. Oh my god hi sorry the hair is up it's warm but listen i'm in another room now let me just say today is wednesday wednesday is it wednesday yeah and i feel like this video is going to be really disjointed because i am filming part of it on the camera part of it on my phone sometimes that's just handier just to grab but my phone has been acting up and every so often it just keeps cutting out like the camera just goes black stops I have to like wait for a few minutes to, for it to restart again or I have to restart my phone and then as well so I'm filming clips on my camera landscape and then also portrait for Instagram stories and an Instagram reel along with filming the same type of stuff on this too <laughs> so I don't know what like intros outros that I've done each day but sure listen it'll be fine um, maybe I'll do like a little recap, will I actually? Hold on, let me take the hair down. So I look like a potato. Did I show you what I bought actually? I don't, do you know what? I'll film this if I've shown it already. Well, you can kind of see a little thing here. Um, sure, I'll cut it out. So I bought this basket. This was so handy today. So for the last two days, like we arrived here on Sunday and Monday was kind of like a chill day where we went to the market and I think we had the pool, we just had dinner. It was just like chill. And then Tuesday, yes, sorry, everybody arrived. The UK people arrived on Monday evening and we had like dinner and chats and everything. It was just so nice to meet the UK influencers um, and have the chats and meet some of the UK PR team from L'Occitane. Then Tuesday, which was yesterday, which feels like it was forever ago, we went to the Verbena Fields, which was just beautiful. And I will be sharing more about this over on Instagram kind of talking about like why we're here and um, explaining about the different growers that L'Occitane works with, why they work with them, how they work with them and I feel like I've learned so much here already but anyway, I'll talk about that now in a second but see so we did the Verbena field and that was just so hot oh my god like I'm a very pale Irish person I don't do well in the heat but you know what we got the shots we did what we needed to do I can't remember what we did after that then Oh no, we went to 
So Philippe and Magali are the growers of Verbena. So if you are a fan of L'Occitane, you will probably know the Verbena range. It's very famous, one of the most iconic ranges that they have, and it's really citrusy and lemony. So we went to their fields, and I thought that the plants were going to be bigger, but they're quite small, but they said that they were going to grow really big, like up to waist height. So when they go to harvest them in August and October, they will harvest all of the Verbena that L'Occitane will need not all of it, but sorry, they'll, they'll harvest 10,000 kilograms of verbena to give to Loxtown for their products. So then after we did that, we had um, a chat with them, we went to like another little area of their land for lunch, which was just stunning. What did we do after that? I think we came back to the hotel. <laughs> yes, we came back to the hotel and then last night we went to the Le Couvent du Minimi. So the hotel is being refurbished at the moment. The hotel just opened, I think, a couple of weeks ago, but they're still working on the spa, and I think that'll be in the autumn. And it's just so different, but oh, do you ever just like go into a place and it, jo it, it makes you want to talk in hushed tones. It makes you want to glide like a lady. Yes, I couldn't find the toilet and got lost and had to ask for help, <laughs> but that was really, really nice. But it was a late night. And I think like part of the reason why I couldn't sleep was the heat, yes. But then also because we ate so late, like I am a little geriatric, like when I'm at home, I'll eat around like six o'clock in the evening. Whereas last night, I think we were only getting our stuff at like half nine, maybe. That's my bedtime at home. <laughs> but it was gorgeous. Did I say, yeah, we got up and then we went to the almond fields. So there we met up with Jean-Pierre Jobert, who owns the almond fields. And he supplies the almonds to L'Occitane for their or for their almond range. And right beside that, he has a lavender field as well. And it was just glorious. Like even the drive from here to there was stunning because this is the perfect time. Like the lavender is going to be harvested, I'd say in the next month anyway, but like it, it's different times and different areas because they have to look at the plants and see when they're ready to go or ready to be harvested. But driving in the field, like I know I've been here, this is like my third time here, but it's still just, what oh, just gets you because I, I just I wish I could describe it like if you were ever thinking about coming to Provence please do and like looking at rolling hills because yeah we were driving along by fields and that was like up close and personal but then on the drive back you could see hills of lavender like really far in the distance and it was just magic a couple of sunflower fields so when Catherine and I came five years ago in 2018 we came at the end of July and the sunflowers were in bloom and then when Mam and Joanne and I came the following year, 2019, we came for Bast well, not for Bastille Day. It just happened to be Bastille Day when we were here. And there was still plenty of sunflower fields to see. Now, it wasn't as, oh, sorry, my nose is itchy. Does that mean I'm gonna have a fight? Um, but yeah, no, it was just unreal, absolutely unreal today. Um, so what is the plan for tonight? We are going for dinner with somebody. Oh, I think with like the pure manager. So we're going out for dinner tonight in the town that we're staying in. So we're staying just outside for Calquier, which is where the market was the other day. I think I did film footage. Oh God, that was physical. Like, yeah, that was ages ago. I feel like we packed in so much. And then tomorrow, we're going to get to go to the Loxitan Labs, which is going to be unreal. I can't wait. We're going to have like lab coats and everything. Um, I think we are going to be able to film some stuff in there. Some stuff we can't for security reasons but we are going to be able to film all this stuff and then we're going to wander axe on provence for a few hours to spend like maybe about four or five hours and i just love that city oh so that was our base when i was here with mam and joanne so we kind of stayed there in a hotel and then kind of went different places every day like just jumped in the car so it was really, really nice when we were out today so i have this dress on it's just from marks and spencer's just nice linen mix and it's flowy and comfy and breezy breezy light so after lunch today i had a little wander in the town that we were in i don't know the name of it i need to find it out and i bought a couple of bits and that was fine let me show you what i bought i think i did show actually i think i did show you what i got in the market so last time gave us this bag which turned out to be very handy altogether so i got some lavender i got i got two bunches of lavender they were so cheap like three euro each so I don't know how I'm gonna get, get that home. And then I got some of this too. This is the Immortel flower. So one of Loxitan's range ooh, uses this ingredients. It's like an anti-aging ingredient. Um, and we had, oh, it smells nice. 
Maybe I'll do actually a video on that in the future. And then I got this. My mum loves uh, magnets, so I got this one. It's like a little lavender coming out of a watering can. So cute. Like that. Oh yeah, so after lunch today, um, some of the others went back in the van and I was waiting for the next one. I was just like sitting there and just people watching. It was just gorgeous. Like everyone was just out and about. And I had this beside me. I had my yellow basket beside me. And then this lady came up and she said, um, hello, are you local? <laughs> and I was like, no. She obviously thought that I looked it because I had my bag of lavender with me. And um, she was looking for, I think, where to like tie up her bike. But I was like, I will take that. I am now a local of Provence. Hopefully it won't be too late tonight because <laughs> I'm so tired after being out and about today and then not being able to sleep last night. But we don't have to get up as early because we said today that we would go to the field like about an hour earlier than we planned because yesterday in the verbena field it was just so hot and the sun was really harsh when you're trying to get footage and videos like i <laughs> i know when i go to look at my footage i'm just gonna be like a big shiny forehead um but sure listen this is it's just been an absolutely magical trip and i feel like we've learned so much um but yeah i will be sharing like more of the trip over on instagram if you want to go and have a little look but what I will say is that if you are coming to Provence, bring me with you. I just love it here. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I will show you acts. I'll show you kind of like the little side streets because that's the type of vibe that I love when it comes to going on city breaks. I just want to play. Yeah, I want to go into the countryside as well. But I just want to like wander the little streets and just be like looking and yeah. Anyway, right. I've got to go get ready. I'll see you later. Well, let me get you some good light because listen, this outfit needs. So, so the shirt outfit of the day. I have shoes that would rival Crocs. <laughs> do we need these for the garden? Yeah, we do. We have one pocket or one pocket. Yeah. Cheap. Branding. Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah, black tan on the bosom. I just need my goggles now. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to show you the little outfit of the day. Hey, the outfit is just about to get that bit better because we've got some. Oh, this one. Don't be jealous. Amazing. Between this, like a ready for action. Can't wait to quit.
are just on the way back now to the taxi to get to the airport. We had, <laughs> Catherine's like running ahead. We just had like the best day in Axon Provence. It was so hot. I did some damage in, where would I go? Sephora in Kiko. And I bought the cutest little thing in Maison du Monde and I'll show that when I get home. But it has been an absolute magic few days here in Provence. And if you come over to Instagram, I'm gonna be sharing more details about the trip because there's so much that I wanna share properly about the, meeting the growers, about all the products. Catherine's leading the way. But um, yeah, I wanna share so much about like the brands, about the products. And yes, that will be all coming very soon over my Instagram. But until next week's video, to dinner. Bonsoir. Au revoir. <laughs>